What is going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Now today, we're throwing it to a noise stasis titan build that I think in season 23 is going to be absolutely disgusting since that is coming out in a couple weeks here. And this season is kind of dead at the moment with probably just a couple things that last week that we'll have to clean up for seasonal stuff storylines whatever bungie has planned but this build right here absolutely slaps as you can see freezing everything on the market as well as using those ice fall mantle gauntlets which gives us a nice boost to stasis weapon damage as i will read to you in a second but this build is absolutely going to destroy next season with that special stasis season like i said in my last video with my stasis this warlock now starting us off i want to go over these ice fall mantle gloves right here because we have a nice a long long entry about them with glacial guard stasis final blows have a chance to grant escalating bonus to stasis weapon damage replaces our barricade with a personal overshield when we activate our barricade you gain the highest tier weapon damage bonus which is absolutely amazing and we create a a nice burst around ourselves that slows combatants and while we have this overshield we are slowed and our barricade doesn't recharge but we basically become a walking talking tank mr freeze iceman the mutant we are just absolutely insane with this build staying alive freezing everything getting that nice juicy stasis weapon damage now on top of that for our mods we're going to be using firepower to gain those orbs of power on grenade final blows with momentum transfer giving us melee energy on grenade uh, damage as well as bolstering detonation which gives us class ability on grenade damage so you will see why we are using that in a second plus we got the stats down here with 100 resilience 100 intellect and 100 discipline so we're going to have our grenade up our super up as well as that shield to pop barricade as often as possible now on our helmet we got harmonic resonance so we can get all those orbs of power with special ammo finder and scout because we are going to be using that add your scepter easily one of the best stasis exotics in the game now on our chest piece using harmonic resistance and concussive dampener right here you can switch these out for whatever you want depending on what you are going into content wise but i do have a harmonic reserves right here for our heavy as well as our adger scepter now on top of that on our boots absolution we got double of those so we can get all of our abilities back when we're picking down the plethora of orbs of power as well as a recuperation so we can get back a little bit of health when we're picking those up as well now very important for this build since we are consuming that barrier very quickly with giving us our overshield as well as it doesn't respawn while well, we have that overshield we're going to be using utility kickstarter double so when we do use our class ability we're going to get a nice chunk of that back depending on our armor charge so it is very helpful with popping our barrier or getting that overshield i should say way way more often now with this we're going a little fire and ice definitely a receptor one of the best like i said for that stasis builds being able to freeze and slow targets is absolutely nice and i love trace rifles now we're using a heel clip incandescent jurassic green from our haunted lost sectors this thing feels pretty nice with that heel clip incandescent and just feels like a little compliment for freezing targets then we got incandescent so we got our little fire and ice shoto todoroki kind of deal on top of that using the chain of command with adrenaline junkie demolitionist so this will help us to get back our grenade even faster and we can do some nice additional damage with that adrenaline junkie on it so it is super super nice with this build because we're going to be throwing grenades around all willy-nilly like as you will see 
like I said with my stasis warlock, next season is going to be stasis focus. So that artifact will be going over. I'll pin some comments on the top of this video when we get that artifact because I'm sure it'll help a lot. All we really have this season is monochromatic meister and that elemental munitions to just help us with a little bit of extra damage and to keep that ammo flowing. Now with our abilities, aspects, and fragments going with Glacial Quake as well as it is important to throw that Rally Barricade on because its base cooldown is only 38 seconds instead of a minute 10 which will help us pop this even more often with those Icefall Mantles. Jump totally up to you with that Shiver Strike of course and then the Glacial Grenade why I'm using this to create those Stasis Crystals for us and that Stasis Explosion does help us get some of that mods to proc on our armor with grenade defeats on top of that using diamond lances which will be everywhere so we can throw them which freezes targets as well as slams it on the ground which is a nice little aoe a little bit more damage which also has the potential to freeze targets on top of that tectonic harvest shattering all the stasis crystals that we're gonna have via our glacial grenade via our diamond lance as well as our azure scepter is going to create those stasis stasis shards for us which will give us some melee energy on top of that those stasis shards will track to us by in conduction right here as well as durance so slows that we apply last longer and abilities that linger their durations will also increase so this also includes our class ability and that little bit of overshield now we are going to be using the increase in damage and size of the burst of those stasis crystals or frozen targets because of one our stasis grenade diamond lance and like i said with the Adra Scepter, we're freezing targets on top of that. Whisper of Refraction defeating those slow or frozen targets grants us class ability energy. Why it is so easy to get back our class ability and continuously pop it with Icefall Mantles to get that stasis damage at times 4, 5, and then also to have that overshield basically consistently with this build. And last but not least, we got those shards so when we shatter stasis crystals, we're gonna get our grenade back even faster which is why i said we're popping it super super often with this build especially with having a hundred discipline on it as well getting those stasis shards getting all those defeats procking the mods on the armor and as you can see we are just wiping out enemy after enemy having that overshield on freezing everything in the path and then even with the heavy having demo adrenaline on it feels very very nice and that stasis bonus damage from the icefall mantle pairs perfectly with it being able to just laser down some of those major and minor champions or bosses mini bosses whatever you want to call them they are absolutely nasty for that these arms i should say being able to give us that overshield and stasis damage just feels right and it'll get even better next season so like I said, thank you all for coming back to the channel, sticking with me. Be on the lookout for a lot more variety coming to the channel, coming to streams with Destiny how it is. We're definitely going to be focusing hard on Destiny still, but I definitely want to start branching out because Destiny will be coming to an end soon with the final shape anyways. So I want to start dipping my toes in other waters. But again, thank you all for coming back. I really, truly appreciate it, all y'all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.